Is this what making America great again looks like? I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? Written by a nice reporter. Now the poor guy, you gotta see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Ah, oh, I don't remember. Oh, look at my African-American over here. This was 33 minutes of Donald Trump bashing Hillary Clinton using some choice words to describe her GOP rival. Incoherent, bizarre, thin-skinned, and quick to anger. Lashes out. The State Department Inspector General throws gasoline on the fiery controversy over Hillary Clinton's email, saying she broke the agency's rules and implying she lied about it. And yet, if you look at Hillary Clinton's record, not in the 1980s, but far more recently, in the last five to six years, she has embraced um, and expressed extreme levels of support for some of the world's most brutal and horrific dictators. Because it's all a show. It's one big show. In a time when these people are considered good leaders, one person stands out from the crowd. Raised in California after his family lost their home in the Great Depression, he knows what it is like to live with loss and the burden of economic stress. Born in Arizona and proudly serving two years in the United States Navy, he is a humble and dedicated American citizen and military veteran. Self-taught after leaving school to help support his family, he understands strong family values and the importance of sacrifice for the greater good. Awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1994, he was a champion of the people in the struggle for civil rights. Dying in his sleep in 1993, he has experience unlike any candidate running today. If demonic elites like Trump and Clinton have a real chance at being POTUS, then anything is possible. So this election year, vote for the dead guy. Vote Cesar Chavez for president. Seen as an American hero for his role helping to organize the great boycott of 1968, he is the only candidate who knows what it is like to make America great again. This advertisement paid for and approved by the committee to elect zombie political officials under law, says Paul. When all you have to choose from is two different pieces of crap, we are here to flush the tank. Here's a song by a gay guy. Bye bye. Seeds of knowing were planted. Until everyone makes a pledge recommitting themselves to nonviolence.